Parents and guardians urge to ensure that children pay attention to their schoolwork. Northwest Clarendon School and Community benefit from improved infrastructure. And I'm so saddened by his passing. Prime Minister remembers Roger Clark. This is Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Andrea Chisholm. With the 2014-2015 academic year officially starting today, Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller is urging parents and guardians to do their part to ensure that children do well in school. I want to encourage parents, take a very active interest in your children's homework and their schoolwork and their performance. And let me say to you, even if a parent cannot read, all right, sit with that child and say, you come now, sit here and do the homework. The Prime Minister added that her administration had put different measures in place to ensure that students and educational facilities were ready for the new school year. This year, PATH has estimated that $1.6 billion will be spent in support of primary school students grades one to six. One point four billion dollars will be spent to support high school children in grades seven to thirteen. One hundred and fifty million dollars will be spent on transportation allowances for high school students. Students and teachers at the Walders Run Early Childhood Institution in Silent Hill, Clarendon have kicked off the new school year in a more spacious and comfortable environment. This follows the completion of upgrading works at a cost of $25.7 million. The community is also boasting a new multi-purpose sports complex. Prime Minister Simpson Miller officially opened both facilities last week, saying they were in keeping with government's drive to develop rural areas. By increasing access to education, for our children and improving the standard of educational facilities, we are making a significant investment in the future of our nation. The Prime Minister also urged the residents to help protect the infrastructure. Too often, people in communities sit by and allow, allow others to come in and to destroy, to remove windows, to remove doors, to remove equipment, what we provide for communities should remain in the communities but should be protected by the people of the various communities. Work on the Walters Run Early Childhood Institution and the Silent Hill Multipurpose Sports Complex was funded by the Sports Development Foundation and the Chase Fund. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller also led her cabinet ministers in paying tribute to Agriculture Minister Roger Clark, who passed away on Thursday in the United States. Roger was a one-of-a-kind politician, a son of the soil, a humble man, and I will always remember him for his generosity of spirit, but also his contribution to Jamaica as councillor, mayor, Member of Parliament and Minister of Government. Mr. Clark, who was also the Member of Parliament for Central Westmoreland, was on medical leave from his ministerial responsibilities. He left the island in late July to undergo surgery and medical treatment for a back condition. And the Prime Minister had a wide ranging discussion on the status of Jamaica's healthcare system with members of the Medical Council of Jamaica. The Prime Minister and the Council discussed the quality of health care given to patients, the quality of imported drugs, the need for research into the medicinal uses of indigenous plants, and professional ethics and training, as well as the impact of non-communicable diseases on the health care system. Discussions were also held with Professor Denise Eldemeyer Scherer, Chairman of the Caribbean Community of Retired Persons, who presented the Prime Minister with a copy of the findings of a 2012 survey on older persons in Jamaica. The Prime Minister also met with Professor Errol Morrison, the new chairman of the National Science Council. And that's it for this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next week for the latest from the Office of the Prime Minister.